Hello everybody, Big Planes here. In this video I have a lot to go over on the 737 project and sort of where we're going with it and all the progress has been made since the last update just a few days ago. So the first thing you will notice is that it is not over here on the working table. I need to clean this area off badly. I moved it over here next to the Pan Am 747. This is the next level up, I guess, from the 737. Just to give it a little bit of scale, as you can see it is dwarfed by that thing of course everything is but a lot of work has been done and a lot of progress has been made to this thing that i really want to share with you so the first thing you will notice is that there are two engines now in the last video there was only one that was this engine and now there's two of them and that was a very very unpleasant experience having to try to copy that engine down because it's very complicated how the motor works and everything but it's finally copied now I have run out of parts I was not able to make another wing for this one I'm now waiting for parts to make another wing I do on the other hand have parts to make the fuselage so that'll be in the next update but I'm now waiting for parts for the wing so that might put a little bit of a dampener and slowing us down here but I'm making some pretty good headway here and all the power functions components are now built into this thing the IR receiver is in the same spot down here towards the bottom. The battery box is in here towards the back. And then the cables run to the engines. So I'm going to turn on the, the thing. And one thing that you may notice is that this jet engine over here does not have a spiral in it. And it does not have one of these uh, discs that looks like a jet engine turbine blade. It only has one of those black discs in it. And that's because I ran out of those... Uh, those discs that look like jet engine blades. I actually need to get more of them off Bricklink, so I'm waiting for that. So this one may not look as good as that one right now, but that's only because it's still a work in progress, and I will get to that eventually. So here goes this one. Let's switch it first channel. There goes that engine. As you can see, it's fully attached to it. You can kind of see the wires there in the back, but other than that, they're completely hidden and built into the wing. And then this engine right here, it's really hard to tell that it's spinning because I did not put a spinner right there and you can't really see the turbine fan, but that is spinning, so don't worry. So, yeah, the engines are all integrated now. They work. I'm going to turn this one up here so you can see it fully in action. Again, I will show you this feature much more in depth when this plane is done. And I've got a lot of questions regarding this on, will this be on the final LEGO Ideas product? And the answer to that is a simple no. The, this thing's already going to be pushing the 3,000 parts limit, and I'm going to see what I can do about that. I might have to remove some things, tinker some things to get it under there, or just generally keep it under that right size. But the power functions would just add complexity and price to it, and I'm not sure that's what we really need on a model like this right now. So... So judging from the comment section below, I'm not sure too ma how many people actually wanted the jet engine feature. I just know I really like it, so this will not be on the final model. And the final model's livery will be announced when this thing is done. So when the plane is done, I will then put the livery on it, and then I will show you what it is. And I'll give you a hint, it's not a real airline, because that would be disastrous in trying to get the licensing permissions and blah 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 blah. So. Yeah, and beyond the engines, which we finally were able to get working, as you can see with this one there and that one there. Again, that one there, you can't really tell it's working, but it's working. I'm going to turn them off now. So something else that I'm really happy with is I was, this is sort of from the last update. The roof just comes off like this. This will be attached way better on the final product. Don't worry. But I was able to get some seats in there just sort of to understand the, the size of it. I'm trying to keep it relatively simple. I'm not trying to use too many parts, but again, the interiors often take a few pieces to get them right. And this sort of just goes to show you one section right here. This fuselage is one section. Over here, I'm sort of working on the next section. This would be sort of how they connect. You'd have uh, a Technic pin right here, Technic pins here, here. And I'm thinking of a way to connect it right here. So this would slot in like this and you could remove the nose pretty easily. Now my idea was to be able to extend this model to a larger plane, you could actually put a middle insert. So you could put an insert right here and then attach this to that. And that'll actually extend the length of the plane. But I'm not gonna worry too much about that until the plane's actually built. So yeah, it's, a, it's for that one. And generally the, the part situation's fine. 
we're gonna start building the fuselage next and when I get the p around to building the wing for this side I will do it but I'm gonna go right ahead and build the fuselage so everything seems to be pretty good on this model it should be being wrapped up in the next few weeks now I'm finally getting those parts that are necessary for it and that's all I really have for this video I know I've rambled on for five minutes now and I should probably shut up so if you enjoyed it please be sure to hit like hit subscribe you know how this goes and bye for now